Hello everybody, MLD here. Now, just want to get this little thing out of the way here. The reason why my video output has been a little light lately is because uh, I'm a dad now. It's been a couple weeks, a uh, little girl, she's great, getting used to all the new patterns and rhythms of it all now. Yeah, you know, things are the same, but they're also different in a lot of ways. A lot less sleep. So, uh, now that we're getting used to the patterns now, I, I think uh, my output will be a little more often now. So that said, I'm covering two things with this video. So I'll do the timestamps in the description if you only want to hear one thing, not the other. First will be the Halo Infinite multiplayer beta. I, I tried it. These are my impressions. And the second half will be about the Perfect Dark Crystal Dynamic update, if you uh, haven't heard about that yet. So, Halo. I put a good few hours into that at least, and I am blown away. Like this, I never had this much fun with a Halo game since Halo 3. Not that the other games weren't fun. They were all fun in their own right. But it just really recaptured that magic of when I was just a teenager playing Halo 3 and all the multiplayer and having so much fun. Because I, they finally did it. They solved the, the sprint debate. Like, the gameplay is just right. See, I'm an OG Halo fan, but I also love the sprint. And yet it feels just right gameplay-wise. The, ga the movement is smooth. The weapons feel right. Um, like, what is it? The, I like the training modes. Like, things like that. You can, you can just mess around to your heart's content. I like that there's bots now. So in, if you're in any multiplayer matches and you leave, someone leaves the, the match, the bots fill in the spaces. And little practical things like that. The graphics look a lot cleaner and better textures than, to the, than the 2020 tech demo. So overall, the multiplayer is tight. The map design, beautiful. The maps are varied. They're pretty symmetrical like you would expect in a Halo uh, competitive co uh, arena-based multiplayer kind of style. So the power weapon spawning, teamwork to win. Just every weapon feels like it has a purpose. Even the new weapons. Like, uh, you get some kills with the skewer. I love that gun. Of all the power up weapons, that was my favorite. But of course, even things like the pistol, they're tweaked, but uh, no, but they, they still feel right. Even the new shotgun, I had a lot of fun with that shotgun. It, again, it's just, it's subtle, but it, it just works. So this is a very, very positive sign for Halo multiplayer. I think it's going to bring in a lot of people being free to play and all. And overall, I can't wait for next weekend, which I think they'll sample big team battle. So uh, I just... Again, I cannot stress enough how this game is going to be so big this holiday. And as a diehard Halo fan, I mean, hey, come on, guys. Like this, I'm going to sink a lot of time into this because my first impressions, bias or not, I mean, I'm a Halo fan, but I got no complaints. Like very little, but no complaints. Love it. Now, the next topic. You see, I'm, I'm pretty active on Twitter regardless of uh, being on here and... People are really, the PlayStation fanboys, they're really on about Perfect Dark, the initiative, and how they're getting help from Crystal Dynamics. Now, I don't really get this. Like, how, how is this a negative thing exactly? I mean, from what I can see, uh, PlayStation fanboys, they're saying things like how it's a negative because it's not their game anymore. How, I really don't understand it. Like, all this, it's a lot of fake concern fake outrage, things like that. I mean, this is how I see it. The Initiative, they're a new studio. They got a lot of top-level talent from across the industry, but they're only 60 people. How do you expect to make Perfect Dark a AAA game with only 60 people in a timely manner? You can't. The studio's already been around for, for about, what, three years now, and clearly they need that extra grunt work to get this game going, get it, to get it off the ground. So is this unusual? Sure, you're partnering with, it's not like you're not like a outsourcing a help from a smaller studio for support. This is a partnership with a major third party studio. Now a lot of fanboys, they like to compare this, uh, their work to uh, the Avengers, but I like to compare it to the Tomb Raider reboot trilogy. This is actually a very good studio and it's actually very good news. Like let, let me make this as simple as possible. The initiative is only 60 people. They need manpower. They're getting manpower. The game, as a result, will come out faster. 
it will be completed in quality faster. So I don't get the news here. I don't get how it's negative. This is great. That means we're going to experience perfect dark sooner than anticipated. It means Microsoft, Xbox, they want this game out, out of the door sooner. So Crystal Dynamics, they're a great studio. Again, Tomb Raider Reboot Trilogy. That's a great trilogy. I think the Avengers is just its own kind of thing because it's more of a uh, you know live service kind of game. So, But I would compare it more to you know Tomb Raider. But again, this is great news. So I don't get what all the fuss is about. So overall, I just want to get those two off my chest. But overall, it's Xbox is in a great position and will dominate the holiday scene. So that's it.